Uh, so then, what can I get you? My money. I'm still waiting on it. Welcome to Mojo Plays. And today, we're summoning the 10 best Final Fantasy VII Remake mods on PC. For this list, we'll be looking at mods that make quality of life improvements not available in the game's initial release, as well as the ones that fulfill every fanboy's Final Fantasy. What's your favorite mod for Final Fantasy VII Remake? Were you also shocked by just how many outfit options are now available for Tifa and Aerith? Let us know down in the comments. I didn't mean to- Don't worry about it. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. FF7 Remake HD Project by Altazine There's no denying Final Fantasy VII Remake is a beautiful game, but it could be better. After the title's release on PC, modder Altazine began what they call the FF7 Remake HD Project. Altazine's mod updates the numerous low-res textures in the game, mostly in background objects, and gives them high-definition makeovers that make the once muddy background textures appear more realistic to match the characters moving through them. These improvements can be seen not just during gameplay, but during the title's many cutscenes as well. Beyond updating over 20,000 textures on various models, Altazine's mod also manually upscales the many skyboxes in the game, finally bringing the detail of all those long-distance environments into focus. Equipment Rebalance by Tyrant Thanatos That wasn't so bad. Finding and equipping the best equipment has always been one of the most important aspects of any Final Fantasy title, but with Remake's improved combat system and focus on offensive playstyles, it's more important than ever. With Tyrant Thanatos' Equipment Rebalance mod, players can max out their weapons as materia slots, allowing them to fully customize their build however they choose. This mod also grants armor far more defense than in the base game, finally making those adjustments to Cloud's defensive capabilities feel like a meaningful change and making blocking and defensive playstyles much more viable against the world's many overpowered monsters. Ready? You know it! Level 99 by Altazine. Okay, let's go! What the hell do you? I got this! Most titles in the Final Fantasy franchise allow players to level up their party to 99, and most even encourage it for some of the game's hidden super bosses. In Final Fantasy VII Remake, however, the cap was stuck at 50. While it's currently unknown if players will be able to transfer their save data to the next installment in the Remake Saga, or if some random event will wipe their progress, thanks to Alcazine, players on PC can at least reach the max level that was even available in the original Final Fantasy VII. While this of course has the possibility to make the player too overpowered, many have already begun creating hard mode mods that could balance the scales. Or maybe you just want to come in and obliterate all who stand in your way with a single swing from your buster sword. You do you. Hell yeah! Maybe dial it back a little? Advent Reshade by Vanguard 1776. <laughs> As previously stated, Final Fantasy VII Remake is already a beautiful game, but it could stand to do with some upgrades now that it not only has its next-gen re-release, but its release on PC as well. While the next installment, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, will likely take full advantage of the next-gen hardware of the PS5 with all the ray tracing and HDR lighting available, those on PC can experience the best the title has to offer with the Advent Reshade mod by Vanguard 1776. With this mod, once dimly lit areas are now vibrantly and realistically shaded, allowing what was once covered by background noise to be brought realistically to the forefront. Now the game finally looks the way everyone imagined it did during their childhood 25 years ago. Yeah, you and me both. My apologies, sir. We are not ready to open at this time. Dev Console by Emus and Stoker25. <laughs> this is a one-time gig. When it's done, we're done. 
The ability to customize your experience is one of the hallmarks of gaming on PC, and with the Dev Console mod by Emus and Stoker25, gamers are merely a click away from having many of the same options as the developers themselves. With this mod, players can unlock the frame rate as well as set custom resolutions, and can even create their own custom settings for the game itself. While this undoubtedly breaks the game in some places, having all these options helps make the PC version of Final Fantasy VII Remake the ultimate addition, with numerous quality of life improvements right at the player's fingertips. That is how civilized people change the world! That's right! <laughs> Aggressive Companions by Gladius 9. Final Fantasy VII Remake managed the unthinkable when updating the classic title's combat system. Developers found a way to allow players to experience the faster paced combat of modern titles while still allowing those who prefer the more classic turn based combat to have options as well. With the ability to switch between any character for direct control, players can chain together attacks with their companions at the click of a button. With the Aggressive Companions mod, however, your AI teammates will finally take charge and rush headfirst into encounters instead of waiting idly by for you to initiate the first move. This makes combat much more intense and chaotic, as you're now doing your best to keep up with your companions instead of them simply following your lead. Playable Characters by I Am Me One of the most disappointing aspects of Final Fantasy VII Remake was fan favorite character Red 13 being unplayable even after he joins your party near the end of Remake. With this mod courtesy of I Am Me, Players can finally take control of not only Red 13, but also Reno, Rude, and even Sephiroth in the game's combat arena and VR missions. The game still doesn't register that you're playing as these iconic characters, as they're simply reskinned over Cloud's model, but seeing Red 13 leaping around unleashing all manner of revenge for his incarceration is still thrilling nonetheless, and hopefully a glimpse into his future as a playable character in the upcoming sequel Rebirth. Custom Waifus by Various Could use a little something to take the edge off, right? How about a refreshing cocktail made by yours truly that you can sit back and savor? We finally come to the one you all have been waiting for. Tifa and Aerith are undoubtedly many gamers' first crushes growing up, and rightfully so. And judging from just the first few pages of Nexus mods, Many have varying opinions on what their ideal fantasy about these two iconic heroines should look like. Don't think we've forgotten about the boys, either. Both Cloud and Barrett have numerous options to choose from as well, as many of these mods also include the ability to change everything from the character's hairstyle and color, right down to changing the color of the character's eyes. The options are truly endless, and with more mods seemingly being added daily, there's nothing final about this fantasy. Or... I'll cut him off. Well, you better. Cause if you don't, I'll rip him off! FF7 Remake VR by Luke Ross While many games are not originally designed with VR in mind, modders like Luke Ross make a very strong case for the option to be available in many major franchises you wouldn't immediately think VR would be ideal for. Opting to keep the gameplay in third person, playing Remake in VR lets you get up close and personal with the game's beloved cast of Avalanche, and nauseatingly opens up the game's world in a way the original game's camera never could. If you have a compatible VR headset, and the stomach for it, those looking for the most immersive way to experience the world of Midgard are going to be hard pressed to find a better way to experience the acclaimed title. Tilt Shift by Fleur Day. For all the improvements made in the remake, there are more than a few purists out there who long for the old days of the isometric top-down Final Fantasy title, and thanks to Fleur Day, those longing for a bit of nostalgia can experience the best of both worlds. 
Remake's gorgeous models and worlds are on display from the old school perspective, and the results are still honestly quite impressive. With Remake's HD world and character models, everything looks and feels almost like a stop motion film, with a level of detail the original 1997 release could only dream of back on Sony's first console. While the mod is currently unplayable, those looking for a bit of nostalgia should absolutely check out the video on Flirtay's YouTube channel, as well as his uses of this technique in other titles such as Red Dead Redemption 2. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips for Mojo Plays, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.